Namaskaram everyone. Um, this is another talk about um, my experience of yoga at the bottom of my garden with blades of grass swaying in front of me. <laughs> and now um, the setting sun is kissing my face. <laughs> Thank you sunshine for being here with me. Um, <clears throat> so the next thing I wanted to talk about was um, this experience I've had only twice in my life. And uh, let me just see if I can get rid of this one. Where are you? That one. Oh. <laughs> so you can see me better. There we are. Um, yeah, the first time it happened, um, I was at a friend's house and she lives in the most amazing place in um, West Sussex. And she's got... Um, a garden that's kind of surrounded by the woods. She might even see this film. <laughs> she knows who she is. <laughs> she probably doesn't know that this happened to me though. Um, so I went for a wander. I hadn't been at her house for very long um, and um, she's got this beautiful coppiced area and I just kind of was walking slowly around it and um, I put my back up against a tree which is something I like to do quite often <laughs> whenever I can. Um, and just kind of was slowly just taking in my surroundings and um, just found myself really, really, really relaxed. And then my eyes were open, but everything around me was kind of blurred and I wasn't trying to make it happen or anything, it just happened. Um, and I wasn't focusing on anything in particular and then I noticed this little fly or something, it wasn't flying very quickly at all, it was just kind of going this speed. I don't know what it was, <laughs> most things fly quicker than that. <laughs> but it was going quite slowly and um, it seemed to me like it was almost flying through me. I know that sounds very odd, but it was like my energy or myself had gone outwards so much that what was coming near me was coming through me. And that's the only way I can describe it really. Um, but that was really odd. And I was kind of looking at this fly or whatever it was. It's like, how is this happening? So I, I still had a bit of my logical mind. It was possibly ticking away a bit, but mostly I was just taking in the gorgeousness and the beauty of life around me um, and just feeling totally blissful and at peace. There was kind of no pain, not really any thought apart from really noticing that fly, just absolute awareness of my surroundings and everything being kind of crystal clear but at the same time being all blurry. It makes no sense at all, I know. You have to kind of um, experience it really to understand what on earth I'm talking about. <laughs> and then um, the second time it happened was a bit later on and um, this was after I'd done inner engineering with um, Satguru, well not him personally, but one of his teachers, someone he's taught to teach it in London um, and my whole world completely changed after doing inner engineering and um, I just saw everything completely differently. Um, so anyway, I was walking along the riverbank with Heidi and I was between Thames Valley Park and Reading uh, before the lock, if you know the area at all and there was kind of a little inlet in the bank of the river and um, these, I think there were three swans that came near the edge and again I was just stood there, Heidi was a little bit away and she wasn't you know, calling for me or anything, I was just stood there and then all of a sudden it just kind of felt like the swans were swimming into my space or kind of paddling and be coming into my space and they must have been about three to five meters away from me um, so it was like myself had grown out loads <laughs> and and they were coming in to me um, and that kind of sensation again I was aware of what was going on and I was like what is this this is a bit odd um, 
but it was happening and I was aware of it and it was kind of really beautiful. It just made me really, really notice and very, very aware. Um, so yeah, it hasn't happened since then. And I kind of wanted to do because it was good. I would like, to, I would like that to happen again. Um, so yeah, that feeling connected to all, feeling blissful. And there are certainly many moments since then when I have felt really blissful. Um, but maybe it's been with my eyes closed, so the sensation has changed or uh, the experience is different now. Um, but yeah, that's something that can happen when you don't do just um, Western yoga where you're strutting your stuff and doing the odd pose. Um, when you do kriyas, when you do meditation, when you do it regularly um, and when it becomes something that's just a part of your life and it's in, you know, there, it's there when you're eating, it's there when you're going to sleep. Um, yoga is always there and it's very rare that I forget about it. <laughs> it's very rare that it's not a part of my being and every step that I take kind of thing. Um, so when yoga is like that for you then I suppose bliss and moments of joy and peace and contentment, contentment uh, can happen much more easily and more regularly and just like that. <laughs> so yeah, subscribe if you like these yoga videos and me rambling about uh, my life and how yoga can be kind of this powerful tool that can transform you and not just be something that you do once a week for an hour and a half. See you next time.